Alright, back again Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, we have another Super Famicom that has seen much, much better days. I'm in the process here trying to get this one up and running, and uh, unfortunately as you can see, it has a lot of discoloration here. But um, it's still working nonetheless, well it's partially working. Um, when I first started on this project, it wasn't doing anything, but I finally got the thing to fire on. Unfortunately, we're getting uh, very small uh, button movements here with the current setup. Uh, there's something wrong with the connector on the inside here. I think it's due to the traces on the back of this board as this thing has been severely um, you know, corroded just sitting over time. But what I'll do here is I'll turn this on and show you guys what it's doing or what it's not doing. Okay, you can see we've got this. So here's our controller. We've got nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Um, we've got one button that works and that is our uh, B button. So, let this thing go here for a second. But um, you'll notice here, to try and start it up, you've got no power, but our B button has become our pause. And can't use any of the bumpers here. Looks like we've got uh, maybe one left bumper that's kind of working. No, not really just getting bumped along so yeah there's absolutely no control going on here with this one so unfortunately what I'm gonna have to do is uh, kinda take this off here and the current situation or the current setup with this one is uh, like I said just been sitting for a very long time in a very damp and dirty place you can see the amount of corrosion that's gone on on the back of the board here up at the top so we're gonna have to go over those traces and see what we can do um, with this current setup here or the way that it's built I'm gonna have to desolder all of these these are for the pins in the front so I can get better access to the circuit board up front here because I want to check the other side as well but that's gonna be the next step we'll just uh, heat up the old uh, soldering pen and desoldering pump and we'll get these things all cleaned up so I'll be back in a little bit all right, so as you can see here, we've got our controller poured off and uh, it's got a lot of corrosion to it. So with this solder, this is also really, really dull. So we're gonna try and remove the old solder here, take the circuit board off of the back and then uh, clean up the pins, put down some fresh solder. Um, hopefully this will kind of heat up a little bit. You should be able to see it. Nah, there it goes. It's heating up a little bit, but it's really, really crusty. So got our solder sucker. We're probably going to have to do this a few dozen times to try and get it completely off just because it's not heating up very well. We might have to put some fresh solder on it just to um, make this flow a little bit easier so we can get better access to it, but um, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of coming. So what I'll do is I'll go around all of these pins and we'll take all of the solder off here and that should allow us to detach this and we'll go from there. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so after removing the solder, you guys can see what the inside of this looks like, and it is extremely nasty. That is really, really gross. Looks like uh, at some point there might have been some kind of like infestation or uh, something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to scrub this down. I'm going to take a look at these traces up underneath here as well, because those might be bad. It could be just an issue of the, uh, the contacts, just uh, maybe the solder being too old and not making good contact. But I'm going to try and scrub this down. I'm going to run it through some soap and water and we'll scrub this up and see what we get afterwards but uh, yeah that is definitely uh, not good so that's the main point and the main problem here so I'll get on this and be back in a little bit see you guys soon all right so as you can see here I've cleaned up the circuit board and that's looking kind of nice um, aside from this part here but uh, I've gone over this with my multimeter to make sure that all the traces are still intact and they are so the next thing we're gonna do here is now that we got these two pieces cleaned up we're going to go ahead and clean up the connector which looks like uh, it could use a good cleaning and uh, we'll try and test all these pins make sure those are making good contact we'll clean up the resistor here as well as the LED and then we'll put this thing back together and see what we got so that's the next step there I'll get on that and I'll be back in a little bit 
All right, so as you can see here, we've got our fresh solder all the way down. We even have it under here on our connector. And what we're going to do is plug this thing in here and uh, give it a test. You can see up here there's some, uh, it looks a little bit discolored, but I just kind of scraped away a little bit of the solder mask and everything seems to be intact. So instead of removing that right now, we'll just leave that on there. It's just discolored, so it's still okay. But we're going to plug this thing in here and see how it goes. So I'll plug this in here and we'll give it a shot. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I've just plugged this thing in here and it's time to give it a test and see how it goes. So we'll flip the old switch and uh, it's a little bit bright in here, so maybe this will show up all right. And, oh, we're still not getting anything. Hmm. Ah, it's still, uh, still just using the, um, let's see, just the one button. Yep, still not working. So, the only thing that this could be here is uh, basically that resistor. That's the only thing that could be wrong with this. So, what we're going to do is uh, remove the resistor and maybe try and find another one. That one is a 100 ohm resistor. See if I can find another one laying around here and see if we can replace it and test it one more time. So, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, I've removed the old resistor and uh, we're gonna put in a new one here or a replacement one and see how that works. But uh, this is the only potential problem it could be. So we'll put this in here and give it a shot. Be back in a little bit. All right, so we've got this thing all plugged back in and uh, figured we could give it a chest. So let's pop the old switch on here and see what we got. There's our light and there's our game. And let's see here. Ta -da! All right, we've got up and down movement, so it doesn't sound right, but <laughs> it works. So, yeah, nonetheless, this thing seems to be working here pretty well. It's kind of hard to see. There's a big glare on the uh, the monitor, but uh, the lights on seems to be uh, seems to be all set. We've got, uh, yep, we've got our power. Yep, working much much better. So, there's another uh, controller port here uh, for the system saved from the grave so just want to share this with you guys here and just one more video one more machine that's uh up and running again but it's about all for me for right now like always i'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching